Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. In this one I'm going to be reviewing the Fine Fine, yes Fine Fine, that's how you pronounce it, K669B condenser USB microphone. Now there are a lot of reviews of this microphone on YouTube but all of them really have to do with talking into it like for podcasts, voiceovers, or for gaming. I'm going to come at it from a music instrument recording perspective, specifically the saxophone. Now, I'm not gonna be comparing this microphone to anything else, I'm just going to be showing you what you can get from a sub $30 microphone. That's right, this microphone at the time of purchase is under $30 on Amazon. I haven't heard anybody play saxophone with this yet, so I'm really curious to see how it sounds. And uh, if it sounds great, this would be a really good option for those of you looking to record yourself with a better quality than a phone recording or the internal speakers in a computer. So let's get this thing open and let's check it out. Ooh. So inside we have some information about the website, about the there's a little letter from them, from the Fine Fine team. Very cool. Looks like you can get this in a couple colors. I got it in black because that matches all the other stuff I have and it's nice and basic. User guide seems pretty simple. Foam. Soft. So here's the microphone. Very simple, very straightforward. Now the one thing you should know about this microphone is the cable that goes from the mic itself to the computer, the USB cable, is not detachable. So it is connected in here. So I assume if this breaks, you have to buy a new mic. But remember, this is an under $30 microphone completely. So if you get some use out of it and it does break, I, I assume you just chuck it and get a whole new microphone. Foam, soft. Ah, and it looks like here we have, let's get this stuff out of the way. It looks like we have a tripod that comes with it. Oh, look at that. So it's got, it looks like it has a standard um, mic stand threaded mount at the top. Seems pretty sturdy. Ah. Okay. So that's it. That's the mic setup. There's only one control on the microphone itself, and that is a volume knob. Um, it's a gain knob, I believe, from what I've seen. There's no headphone input or anything. So I'm gonna give myself a few days with this to get used to it, to learn about the gain settings, to learn where the best place is to place it in front of the saxophone to play, and then I'll catch back up with you with some recordings and my thoughts on this microphone. I'm really excited to try it, and uh, we'll see what it sounds like. So I'll catch up with you in a few days. And we're back. So I've had some time with this microphone now and I'm gonna show you some recordings and I want you to let me know what you think. Afterwards, then I'll talk about my thoughts about it and talk about how I set it up and everything like that. So let's get right into those recordings. <laughs> So what did you think? 
Remember, this is a sub $30 microphone all in for the microphone itself, the cable that goes to the computer and the little tripod. That's a great deal to me. And the audio you're hearing right now is from this microphone and I think it sounds awesome. It really does. Now, is this microphone the best choice for the highest quality sound for instruments? No, but it doesn't claim to be that. It's really meant for talking, speaking into it. It even says that on their website and in the product description. I wanted to see what it would sound like with saxophone and I thought it did a pretty good job. Yeah, there's gonna be some issues, but that's to be expected for the price point and the size of the microphone. So if you wanted just a quick at-home recording setup, you can use this for your microphone into some type of software. I use Logic, but you can also use Audacity or GarageBand or something like that. You can film with your phone, boom, put it together, you'll be done in no time. And it's really quick, really easy, and for not a lot of money at all. Also, I found the best settings for saxophone were putting, as you saw, the microphone a few feet away, turning the gain down a lot and playing directly at it, but you have to keep that distance. As you get closer, it does distort and it overpowers the microphone, even if you turn the gain down. That's why this microphone is really great for talking and I'm, you know, this far away when I'm talking now and it sounds really, really good. But with loud instruments or something like that, it's not gonna be able to handle that sound. So if you're in the market for a very affordable USB microphone, especially someone who's playing a softer instrument or someone who's speaking or singing, highly recommend it. You, you heard it for yourself. I just want to give a shout out to Fine Fine Technology and Kyle specifically. You guys are doing a great job and I really appreciate what you're trying to do with these microphones. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of what you heard and let me know if you're in the market for it. If you have any questions for me, how I set it up, please check out other videos on my channel and subscribe and I'll see you at the next video.